What's up peeps and welcome back to Thrill Plays. I'm back with my challenge video. I challenged myself yesterday to build the biggest, tallest food street tower we've ever seen. Now I don't know how this is going to go but here I am and I've started it off. So I've drawn a line down the middle just so we make sure it goes straight up into the sky as far as we could go. So I've used the very bottom of my plot um, up to the very top. So I'm going to start by putting some walls down. I'll just check which walls I've got the most of so that we can try and do this in a uniform fashion. Um, I think I'm going to use something quite plain. I mean there are a lot more walls in some of the um, designs that we've had through some of the events but I think I might just go for some plain white walls and then that way I can add as much accessories as I feel like adding to it. So just look through your walls, decide what you want to go through, what go for, and that way you won't be regretting the decision you've made. So I've gone for the white brick walls. I had 98 of these I think. So I'm going to start by marking out our area. We need to try and make the base as big as we can so that we can go up as high as we can otherwise it's just going to be one skinny little tower and we do want it to graduate into a bit of a smaller area going towards the top so I'm going to move these machines out the way to try to create some space so we can move freely in the process of doing this. Also I've marked out a white floor here just for our base. Now this could change at any time and I'm not quite sure how we're going to go about this but I'm going to start building upwards off that floor to see where we end up and to see if we need to make more space and you know try to use the step effect here so that it looks like it's graduating upwards neatly. I've got a feeling we're going to end before we get to the end of this point so you could either make another sort of separate square but join it together as you're doing it but if you just start off by marking all your levels like we always do so we're leaving one gap and going up one gap and going up so straight down the middle and then step effects left and right so we have ended up reaching the middle but not quite the top but I'm going to keep going downwards in my step effect for the last part that I'm doing the right side to see how we're going to combat the problem of not being able to reach the top as this does need to be the full size tower otherwise my challenge is not valid. So we've got this big area at the top here and this is all we've managed with the blocks so I propose that we sort of bring these blocks in a little bit at the bottom and go upwards using a bit of a narrower area which I've done right here and then I have used three walls for the midsection to keep that bit widened out and it's worked out perfectly well we've created a room at the top now, depend on how you want to be able to use this, whether you want it to be usable or a decorative aspect, then you might want to leave two spaces in between each block. And I am doing this as I've gone along so that you don't have to watch every step. So I'm starting to put the windows in now. I'm going to have to buy a few more windows to complete this so that it's all exactly the same. So a bit of money, money spending on here unless you want to use all different kinds of windows but I didn't want to do that in case it looks a bit jumbled up. Of course you can use walls, you know you could do a window on one floor, windows on one floor, win walls on the other and then just alternate it like that going all the way up so it's all up to you. You can use two different coloured walls, you can do whatever you want, you can put doors in. Um, we're going to add this turquoise colour wall. I want this to look quite summery as we've got the Think Green event coming up and if I want to keep this as my decoration for that then at least I can add some palm trees and whatever else at the end to highlight everything, put some lights in and 
as we did with the previous video the lounge floor might go into this so the turquoise will um, accentuate that color really nicely so I'm just going to keep adding these walls all the way up so that we've got like steps for people to walk up in the center of each side so keep going up once you keep um, you know going through the motions you'll find it easier to find where the spots are you'll have to count a few blocks and I might stop these blocks here and do windows for the rest or I don't know you can do anything you want with it but you'll see what I ended up deciding further down in the video okay I have decided that I'm going to do exactly the same thing going all the way up so some of these blocks are going to need moving and tweaking and I'm going to have to buy some more of those windows so that's the plan so the blocks and the windows are all placed now everything is in the right place um, the building is actually done so we just need to do the fun bit now which is the decorating and adding accessories now I'm going to use a metallic floor for this uh, lobby area for the entrance because I think that looks nice and architectural a little bit industrial is the way I'm going here and I think it suits the style of the building really well you can use whatever you like of course you can style yours out completely differently or you can use exactly what I'm using so that's done I'm gonna um, extend out into this uh, upstairs lobby area as well that was the way I combated the problem of the tower not reaching the very top by doing it a little bit wider and then making the top a little bit smaller of course you could incorporate the lobby into the top floor room and then you'd have a little bit more space as well so I'm going to add this lounge floor now and this is the tricky bit because it's a weird shape so you're going to have to do a lot of it sort of one by one I'll do the chunks where I can and then we can show or hide items as we go along so once you've got your side area marked out which I'm doing right now then you'll know where to stop with the lounge tiles of course if they do go outwards it's not difficult to replace those with the remove tile option which is the grass so I'll just complete that and I think the lounge floor does bring this up really nice it kind of gives it a bit more depth and you can hide the items to continue with blocking you can feel a bit impatient doing it um, bit by bit okay that's gonna go out too much because this does it in squares rather than sort of you know choosing your area it the the further you're out you go the more it's gonna do it in a block so that's it that's how it looks in the photo mode and now for accessorizing and I'm going to use a lot of garden accessories, plants, waterfalls, because I do want it to look as spacious and airy and outdoorsy as it possibly can. And I'm going to keep this quite simple, but I do think the green's going to bring it up and liven it up loads. Start with the lobby area. So this is like a high-rise high hotel building and I've used the purple at the bottom to kind of highlight the whole thing at the bottom as well which I think works really well could use any color to do that you could use yellow whichever color you like I'm just gonna put rows of trees down here you can always change these around as you like and with the think green event coming up um, hopefully they're going to have some plants and stuff on offer so I could buy a few more things to keep adding some more plants and things to this so it can look really tropical and a bit like a holiday destination 
for that wow factor. I think plants always do that, and in real life they do, and on here they do too. I can put some trees at the very top as well, somewhere around here, maybe in the lobby area, or this little outdoor, I don't know, it's like a little botanical garden area. Could change the floor in here as well. Just turn these windows around so I can fit those trees in. You could make it look really rainforesty. I might have to add some bamboo plants and stuff up here as well. Also, I'm trying not to spend any money because I have leveled up to 70 and I do need to buy that stove. I do keep zooming out again to see how it looks. Very funky from the side. It looks so strange. But from the front, it definitely looks like a high-rise building, which is exactly what we were aiming for. So I'm very, very pleased with that. As you can see, though, adding the green makes all the difference on any design you do, especially one like this where you've used kind of masculine colours to build everything up with, and then putting the green enlivens everything up. I'm going to use these trees. I've got loads of these, and the pots will incorporate... The, the wooden colour so that the Japanese doors look nicer as well. <clears throat> you could use white doors, of course, but I really like these sliding doors. I was well amazed with those when we first got them. And I still am. I always use those. I think I'm going to do like a sunbathing area up the top. You, know, you could put a massive pool up here. It would look so fantastic. I think I might do some pulls on the outside. Give this video a big thumbs up if you'd like to see what else I'm going to do on this same design. Because I am going to complete the design, put my machines somewhere. I think it might be something like a kind of area around hotels you get when you go on holiday with restaurants and a little park and stuff like that. So do let me know if you want to see that. I'll start working on that video as well to give you some idea of what you could do with your high-rise building too. I'm going to put these lights in as well. Like I said in the previous video, lights always illuminate the building and it makes it look, you know, less stark, less clinical. Always a good thing to add the lights. I do hope we get some more lights with future events. I think they do wonders for any design. So you can see straight away the clinical look of the building is starting to disappear and it is starting to look like a really fun place. Put some waterfalls up here as well. And that gives a bit, it livens it up, some water and some light, some trees, all of that does definitely add to the depth and it does make it look lively. I'm a big fan of plants in real life and on here too. And these sunbeds look ideal up here. And again, they go with the Japanese doors, so the wooden theme makes sense added into this. And it does look really modern as well. Just need to uh, sort out this corner as well because it looks a little bit plain. We could add a few more teal blocks up there or even a completely different colour, or even some of the purple from from the bottom as well. I'm just going to add some more of these palm trees. I'm going to alternate these because I don't know if I've got enough to do every floor. And if I do, I can quickly pop in and put those on as well, on every floor. I think it's quite essential that this needs to be asymmetrical, especially for me, because I do go back and look at things and think, oh, why have I done that differently, and start changing things around. You can see how much difference the green makes. You know, it softens everything up. So it's not just the boring old building. Not that it was, but, you know, adding some green definitely makes everything look more lively and more natural as well. Do spend some money on the uh, green items on plants. They are really useful for decorating. Just going to pop some uh, palm trees down here as well. These are my absolute favourite. I don't know why I didn't buy more at the time. I do hope the summer event's going to come back this year. 
because I would really love to go and buy a lot more of these. Put some up the top as well. I've only got two left, so I'm going to have to split these up and then put something else in between. We could put our little charcoal grill up here. That would look nice. But yeah, if you do this a little bit bigger, you can put a pool in the middle. I might have to tweak mine and do that. Give it that extra wow factor. I will be working on this design a little bit more after I finish this video. As this was just for the challenge of the high rise building. So feel free to pop to my restaurant and have a look. My club is base and my restaurant is Sorel. I'm loving the way that looks. So that is it. We are done. I have managed to finish the challenge of the highest building ever built on Food Street. Well, by me anyway. I don't think I've seen any towers this high. Let me know if you have. I'd like to check them out. And that's it. I'm really pleased with that. Neat and tidy. Everything's in the right place. And I think it does look the part. We need a picture of this. Oh, yes. Very pleased with that. And... Like always, I'd like to see yours. So let me know if you've done one. So spam me below if you want me to come and have a look at your restaurants and check out your designs. Or you can post them on my Food Street Lounge of Sorel group. Have fun. Enjoy it. Don't spend too much because the new decorations are coming. And take care. Peace out, guys. See you on the next video.